hello guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to review ROS 12.1 so it's running on android 12 but the version of ROS is 12.1 and this is an official rom so previously i was using a uh, pixel ui uh, actually pixel OS, not pixel ui then i had tried to install pixel ui uh, the latest version of it 4.6 but what happened is that whenever I install that ROM, it doesn't boot, it just put back to recovery. I tried to get some help, but I didn't get any help. Then I flash ROS and this ROS is quite good because it, it is purely stock ROM. You will not get much feature or anything like that, but it is very stable ROM. So uh, let's see what uh, we are getting with this ROM first. So. Uh, we are getting our MIUI camera which is working fine let me show you so and as you can see the camera is working front camera is also working so the cameras are working fine now uh, also uh, I have installed a version of um, Gcam as you can see here and this is also working just fine as you can see so the cameras are working fine here and as you can see the ui is quite smooth and let's go and check our android version and other security patch level about phone so if i go android version so as you can see yes it's uh, it's saying that about the arrowverse version is 12.1 gfs official and the security patch level is june 5 2022 so it's quite recent build uh, i have just flashed it and experiencing it it's quite good rom actually so about the security you are getting only fingerprint scan uh, no face recognition so it's working fine the fingerprint is working fine let me show you so it's quite fast and it recognizes very fast so fingerprint is working just fine so there is no issue with that and another thing is that the battery backup so battery backup is quite good so main reason why i've changed pixel os to this rom actually i have been using pixel os for two three months and recently i was getting like it was uh shutting down itself or it was having battery issue and or it is uh, the ui is stacking then uh then i checked it was the memory was full that's why it was doing this kind of thing then i just i say this just change the rom so i plan to flash pixel plus ui as i said in my most of the video the pixel plus ui is quite good rom then i flashed it it didn't work then i downloaded arrowverse again and i flashed it so arrowverse is working fine i will put this rom link in the description below so you can download and flash it and rather than that this this rom has nothing new here wi-fi bluetooth and everything is working fine as you can see my wi-fi is connected right now wi-fi bluetooth and everything is working just fine and you are getting show me parts so you can calibrate your display here is my display setting if you install this rom you can try this display setting you will not get any kind of skin burn issue as i didn't get any kind of skin burn issue right now i just turn it on and set up my things so so that if you if you install this from just do it you will not get any kind of uh, skin burning issue rather than that uh, i didn't get any kind of uh, lag and other things but one thing is to note is that sometimes gesture uh, uh, don't work the gesture is like uh, the home gesture like the swipe up gesture doesn't work sometimes but rather than that everything is working just fine and the apps and other things and magic is here so let me show you i have installed the magic scan i have uh, restored all my apps it the, all the apps are working and as you can see here there need additional setup because i haven't uh, opened the app after installing it so it's asking me to reboot the phone so i will do it later rather than that as you can see here everything working fine voice call also working i have checked it and i don't know about VoLT in other countries here i don't use volt so i don't know about that about gaming experience i don't really play game on this phone because it is not a gaming phone but still for lightweight games you can try and because it's uh, purely stock rom so i think you will get 
much a better experience than MIUI in this ROM and also it's running on Android 12. Another thing is that in notification panel you can change the internet option or you can uh, keep your Wi-Fi option here so you can do that too. So that's it mostly about that the charging speed and other things everything working fine sound is good so if you want to flash this rom the link will be in the description below thank you very much for watching and i will see you on the next video